Everyone is born Christian. Only later in life do people choose to stray from Jesus and worship Satan instead. Atheists have the greatest cover of all. They insist they believe in no God, yet most polls done and the latest research indicates that they are actually a different sect of Muslims. Um, yeah. Well, let's reason with that person. That sounds like a person that we could easily went over with a little bit of reason. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is a little comedy routine that uh, a Christian wrote here. Um, this is called Atheists as a Majority. This is what it would be like if the majority of people were atheists. Atheist kid. Mom, I'm going out to fuck a hooker. Atheist mom. Okay, son. Afterwards, I'm going to smoke pot with my friends, since it's not addictive. Okay, come home soon. The atheist kid leaves the room. The father comes home from work several minutes later. Hey. Hi, honey. I'm pregnant again. I guess I'll just get another abortion, since fetuses don't count as human life. Okay, get as many abortions as you want. Oh, and don't go in the bedroom. Why not? There are two gay men fucking each other in there. Why are they here? I just wanted them to I just wanted to watch them do it for a while. They just aren't finished yet. Okay, that's fine with me. Suddenly the neighbor runs in the house. Come quick, there's a Christian outside. We'll be right there. The atheist couple quickly puts on a pair of black robes and hoods. They exit the house and run into the street where a Christian is nailed to a large wooden X. He is being burned alive. A crowd of atheists stand, ar stand around him, all wearing black robes and hoods. Damn you Christians, we hate you. you. We claim to be tolerant of all religions, but we really hate yours. That's because we are atheists and are hypocritical like that. Die, Christian. The end. That's good satire right there, you gotta admit. That's clever shit. That is a clever motherfucker. Here's another uh, classic. AIDS is caused by immoral behavior, not a virus. Woo! Neat! Man, I can't wait to get in a reasoned debate with that person. I'm sure that I'll convince them of a lot of things. Because they're obviously so open-minded and intelligent. I really see your guys' point. <laughs> Here's another great one. I don't care about logic or science. The Bible says the moon and the sun move. Wow. Seriously, does anybody ever cry at an atheist's funeral? I mean, since atheists have no value whatsoever as human beings, they're not even human, but only inhuman animals, since atheists are nothing but miserable liars, cowards, and murderers, after all, why would anybody in their right mind weep over a dead rotting corpse or bone chips and ashes that get mixed together from those of the ancient crematory of a worthless dead atheist? And what epitaph do you engrave on an atheist grave marker? Here lies the only good atheist, which is a dead atheist. What else is there to say? Nothing at all. No last words, no last rites, no flowers, no anything. Every time an atheist dies, the world is better off as a result of that atheist being dead. And it's damn godforsaken hole burning in the fiery pits of Hades. Then he draws a smiley face. Which begs another related question. Do atheists cry at funerals? If so, why? Since atheists hate God, and they hate family, and they hate country, who are they crying for? Is it true the only good atheist is a dead atheist? Ooh, man, that's just overflowing with tolerance. Oh, here's a scientist here. This is a, this is a good Christian scientist. This asks some very valid questions about evolution. Chad Ag, you might want to get right on answering these. Um, one. If we did evolve from monkeys, then how come babies aren't born monkeys? Chad Ag, answer that one, motherfucker. I'd like to see you try to slip out of that one. Okay, you were able to carry your little evolution lie long enough. But that question pretty much crumbles it right there. Even Darwin said his theories were wrong before he died, so why do you still believe them? Do you do you really not believe the Bible says it were says we were created in seven days and not millions of years? Well, yeah, that's a good good point. That's a good fucking point. How come we can't speak monkey? 
yeah, she's got you, man. She's got you. Fucking, I mean, you know, rabbit ape, chat egg, all you evolution, atheist, uh, no -flist. Sorry. <laughs> this bitch has got your number, man. This bitch has got you fucking pegged. I appreciate your recommendation, and it is intriguing, but as a pro-lifer, I cannot support an organization that is opposed to the death penalty. Mm, unintentional irony is so fucking sweet. The spanking should be administered firmly. It should be painful, and it should last until the child's will is broken. It should last until the child is crying, not tears of anger, but tears of a broken will. As long as he is stiff, grits his teeth, holds on to his own will, the spanking should continue. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. That's a really good way to raise your kids. I think that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> And um, here we have a Christian constitutional scholar. It's very interesting. I major in the Constitution. I am a constitutional scholar. You are out of your league here. The fourth is the right to bear arms. That would be the fucking second. Con Mr. Constitutional Scholar. It's the second amendment that gives us the right to bear arms. Here, here's some advice um, on how to prevent homosexuality in young boys. The father needs to do his part. He needs to mirror and affirm his son's manliness. He can play rough-and-tumble games with his son in ways that are decidedly different from the games he would play with a little girl. He can help his son to throw and catch a ball. He can teach him to pour to pound a square wooden peg into a square hole in a pegboard. He can this is the part where it gets good. <laughs> He can even take his son with him into the shower, where the boy cannot help but notice that his dad has a penis just like his, only bigger. <laughs> so a bitch got raped and got all traumatized and shit. Boo motherfucking who. All the man did was get around the system of this feminist society. Nothing more. She should count herself lucky that the dude didn't kill her and get the fuck over it. She was just like all other women, using their fucking bodies to get what they want. She is the real offender, not him. Exactly what was the crime? The bitch needed a dick, he gave it to her. She ain't fucking dead, is she? Yay! Let's reason with that. What you say? That's fucking great. I so want to try to reason with that person. I'd like to sit down and have a cup of coffee and a civil fucking discussion. I'm tired of hearing all this debate of homosexuality. Why is it even debatable? These people are abominations in the eyes of the Lord. They could change their ways, but choose not to. There's no argument. That's how it is. We should burn the gays at the stake. It worked in the Inquisition. I don't see any witches around anymore. Real witches, not these hippie wicked imitation witches. Marijuana is the gateway drug, and Darwin is the gateway silence. science. First, it's evolution. Then comes plate tectonics and the Big Bang. Then comes atheism. Then comes self-loathing and misanthropy, which leads to elitism and superiority complexes. The resulting social ostracization leads to homoeroticism and other perversions. The insatiable demand for money to find extravagances coupled with the sloth that accompanies the welfare check creates a visceral hatred of capitalism. Finally, the abuser is no longer able to feel for his country and multiculturalism takes over. The transformation is complete. I've seen it happen again and again. Yes! Preach the gospel, brother. Preach the fucking gospel. You are a magnificent bastard. So, these are the fundamentalists. These are our good friends on the far Christian right. Anti-gay and pro-rape. Let's reason with them. What you say? Want to reason? Want to sit down and have a civil debate with those people? Or do you want to kick their asses? Me, I could go for some ass kicking. But if you guys want to have the civil debate thing, that's fine. Check out the website. Good shit there. You'll laugh until you cry. Or maybe you'll just cry. <laughs>